Hello cheapskaters, I'm Kath Armstrong, creator of the Cheapskates Pub, where our goal is to live life debt-free, cashed up and laughing. If this is your first time visiting our channel, welcome. And if it's not, welcome back. We're really happy you have been able to join us. Now, if you're not already a subscriber to our channel, click that subscribe button below me and then click the bell next to it and select how often you would like to be notified of new videos on our channel. That's all you have to do and you will never miss out. And it's free. It takes two seconds, costs you nothing, but means you don't miss out on our shows. When I say stop composting, I don't mean stop composting waste, but stop putting perfectly good food in the compost and then watch your grocery shrink. And I mean it. Just because a carrot is hairy or the celery is a bit limp or the apples are wrinkly doesn't mean they're compost or chook food. They are still perfectly good to eat. So when you compost them or feed them to the chickens or the dog, you're throwing money away. I don't want to throw money away. I'm pretty sure you don't want to throw money away. Now, everyone has wrinkly veggies and fruit sometimes. It's just a fact of modern life. But sometimes I think they turn wrinkly between when we buy them and get them home. But make sure we use all of what we have. Use it all up. We can use, use, use our produce to make soup. Grate the wrinklies um, for fritters. Chop it up and put it into a stew. Grate them and put them into a veggie pasta bag or a veggie lasagna. Grate or slice them and dehydrate them if you can't make a soup or stew or fritters. When you've done that, you can powder them and use them for thickening soups and stews and fritters. Make relish or pickles from them. Roast them. Older veggies are the best for roasting. Slice, dice, grate and add them to pizza toppings. Add them to frittatas or omelettes. Use them in pie fillings. Um, use them in fruit or even vegetable crumbles that you never thought of doing a veggie crumble. They're delicious. Use them in smoothies. Um, process them and freeze them in ice cubes to use in other drinks. Like I said, dehydrate them and grind them to powder to add to soup, stew, gravy, pasta sauces, smoothies, fritters, quiche, pies, pasties, and so on. There are so many ways to use veggies, wrinkly or otherwise. So there should be no throwing good food in the bin. Peel anything that's too hairy or wrinkly. That just makes sense. You can revive carrots and celery that are looking a bit sad in an ice bath for 15 minutes or so. Just because something is wrinkly or hairy, it doesn't mean it's bad. It just means it's old. Bad is mouldy and stinky and slimy. But if the fruit and veggies are mouldy and or stinky or slimy, then compost them. Don't eat anything that is obviously obviously bad I'm hoping that you'll use your common sense and know the difference you know if your eyes and nose say no bin it or compost it and if you find you have wrinkly veggies all the time you may need to rethink how much you buy or grow and your preserving plan before I go, thank you so much for watching this little video all the way through and for subscribing. Feel free to leave a comment and if you do, start that comment with stop composting so I know you've watched all the way to the end. Now I read every comment and I do my best to answer any questions you may have. And if you know someone who might like this video, just click that share button to send them the link. There's three simple things you can do. Like, subscribe and share to help our channel grow and to be recognised more easily. And of course, the easier it is to find us, the easier it is for us to spread the message that it is 
not only okay to live life debt free, cashed up and laughing, but it can still be done, even in today's crazy world. I'll be back with another video to save you money, time and energy very, very soon. But until then, happy cheapskating everyone.